Hello everyone, Sergeant274 back with another Dark Souls tutorial or beginner's guide episode. Today, um, well last time we did the Painted World and we got this snazzy Painted Guardian set of armor. You can see here, this is the uh, best um, light armor I have for magic resist. I have the Crest Shield and the Painted Guardian set has very good magic resistance. I have done that because today we are going to go to the Dark Moon Tomb and we are going to face off against um, Gwendolyn, Dark Sun Gwendolyn here. Now if you want to become, want to stay a member of the Dark Moon Covenant you cannot fight Gwendolyn um, but really for this playthrough we don't care. First of all we are going to use our souls that we acquired last time to level up and again once we defeat Gwendolyn hopefully remember to switch to the goal or Silver Serpent Ring there. <coughs> Alright, I haven't done Gwendolyn in a long time. There is a way to cheese her, him, him, um, and that is by getting a bunch of poison arrows, equipping the hawk ring, and the, I guess you could do almost any bow really, long bow or um, black bow ferris will work the best, but just pepper her from a distance, pepper him, excuse me, from a distance with, um, poison arrows and eventually she will or he will die. Anyways, here's Gwendolyn. Because I'm an idiot, that's why. I can't skip this. Alright. Alright, so basically what she has, th he, why do I say she? He has three attacks. As soon as you get close, he disappears. So just run, and then you have the little floating knife thing, which I just roll through. You have that, which you can roll through. That, which you can't, well, you could roll through it if I were smart enough. <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. I was hoping it'd be the knives. These are the knives here, just zigzag around the knives one hit two hits three hits alright now we start over again that thing you can dodge that thing you can dodge here come the knives one two sh he gone And for killing him, you can get that armor you just saw there. The, the Dark Sun Gwendolyn's armor. Alright. So there we go. We got the Soul of Gwendolyn. So with that soul, you can make the, uh, what do you call it? Dark Moon Bow, I believe. Anyways, after defeating him... He's just a apparition of a female, or whatever. I don't know. That's not. Don't don't quote me on that. Okay, I screwed that up. <laughs> Guinevere. He's an apparition. He's just was raised as a girl. So there you go. All right, and there you go. That's that's the reason you kill her. Him. God, I'm an idiot. For Sunlight Blade. It's a miracle, Sunlight Blade. Bless your weapon. Which will be helpful, but unfortunately, in order to use Sunlight Blade... Where is it at? Browse items. Oh my gosh, I am horrible at this. In order to use Sunlight Blade... It's a miracle. Uh, where is it? You can see there you need 30 faith. Same thing for Dark Moon Blade, you need 30 faith. So, yeah. And the other thing you get over here is the brass set of armor. Alright, so... Oh, I forgot, idiot. Didn't I just remind you guys at the beginning of this video that if you are going, when you kill her, to switch to the silver serpent ring? Didn't I? Yeah. And guess who forgot to do it? Me. Because I'm a freaking moron. So, you can see it's a, it's a pretty easy boss fight. Just make sure that you roll 
uh, when those uh, attacks come, if you're heading straight on to those, uh, that homing attack. She only did that once, so. Alright, anyways, you know what we are going to do? We are not going to use our money here, our money, our souls to level up. What I actually am going to do is eventually here, um, <laughs> get enough souls to purchase more Twinkling Titanite, or, uh, you know what, I'll just go farm some Twinkling Titanite. And get our Black Knight. Let's see, what should we use next? <laughs> Halberd or Great Axe? I really like the Great Axe, so we'll use the Black Knight Great Axe next. And uh, yeah, I will be plus five in that with Twinkling Tight Knight. Alright, so what else is there to do? Let's see, is there anything else we can do? This was such a short episode. Um, let's warp back to. On Orlando. Let's see if that firekeeper becomes hostile. I don't remember if she does after you kill. Yeah, she does. So watch out. As soon as you come back here, she'll buff her S stock with Dark Moon Blade. Right there, she's in a parry stance, though. I'm going to end your. Su oh, God. She's going to. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, try blocking that stupid S stock. That was stupid. That is called stupidity at its finest right there. I did not... I for, Oh, God. <laughs> Tis a pity. <laughs> See, that's why you don't... Um, um, try to... Attack her when she has Dark Moon Blade on her S-Stock and she has the Parrying Dagger. Alright, where the heck am I going? We gotta get our souls back. <laughs> and we got and we gotta not die. Okay? That's the That's the second key here. Alright. So that stupid rapier is gonna do damage. Whoa, that's Okay. There you go. Backstab and then one whatever. That will do it. Unfortunately now. Um, this bonfire is no longer going to be useful. You can still warp to it, but you can't warp from it. Because it cannot be lit. For the firekeeper is absent. But we do have another firekeeper soul. So what I'm going to do with that is... I wonder if I could... I don't think I have any homeward bones, do I? I have one. i got to buy some homeward bones. Basically, I'm just going to come back this direction... Run up to Sens and uh, just use the bonfire there to warp out of here. Although I think if I use the Homeward Bone, I would go back to Dark Moon Tomb there. But whatever, this is a quick way back to Sens if you wanted to go back. Alrighty, well, I'm not exactly sure what else there is to do for this episode. You know what, maybe we'll go... What did you give me, sir? Where's the... Oh, bonfire's over here. Jump, jump. Maybe we'll go... Down to... Um, we'll go do, like, Ash Lake area right now could be really foolish with 49,000 souls. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use that to level up, I think. Yeah, let's just use that to level up. And not worry about potentially wasting it. So, let's put our rusted iron ring on there. And, yeah, we'll keep the painted set on. So, to get to Ash Lake... Or the Great Hollow. You have to come down here to Blight Town. And you can do this anytime. Anytime you have access to Blight Town, you can go there. As I mentioned in a previous video, the problem is if you go down there, to get back out <coughs> is a pain in the butt if you don't have the Lord Vessel yet. Because you can't warp out, obviously. You'd have to climb back out, so. Alright, let's get our... You know what? We don't need this one anymore. Um, 
Where's the blood shield? We'll use that. Actually, should be using a grass crest shield. <coughs> Help my stamina regen since we have a little bit of running to do here, but whatever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Like this area in Demon Runes, it decides to, you know, go drop the frame. That was the way it was on the PS3 version, but I mean, I thought the PC was supposedly different. Oh, here's our old friend Quick. She is still here. Alright, she's still here. So can we modify our equipment at all? 14,000. Of course we can. Is there anything we could purchase? That's good. Eh, I don't really like any of that. No luck. Hmm. No luck. Alright, before... Whoa, buddy. Easy killer. Alright, before we go down to the Great Hollow, let us go over here and... You can see Laurentius. Poor feller. He's turned hollow. So, he's gonna be hostile, obviously, so... Where the heck he's going, I don't know. I'm gonna have these stupid mosquitoes to worry about, too. What is he doing out there? I'll, I will come out there, sir. Oh, God. Oh, I, ouch. Don't lock on him. Come on, do your little pyromancy again. Or that. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Sir. That is uncalled for. Man. He's <laughs> trying to be fancy. 1,000 souls, and he drops nothing. What a bum. Alright, so from this bonfire that's down here, all ye have to do is go to the left. Go left. Get out of there. And it's that. <coughs> um, what do you call it? tree branch, limb, or something that's right over here. And we didn't get this last time we were down here. But there are a few... There's a green... Uh, really? Oh my gosh, we are failing at everything today. There we go. There's a free green titanite shard for you. Fail again! You gonna drop anything for me? No. Alright, whatever, who cares. Alright, so we're gonna head up this um, tree route. And you come to the plank shield. <laughs> Alright, there it is. It's the left of the plank shield. There's a hidden wall. Which then takes you to Twin Humanities, and you're done, right? No, you're not done. Another hidden wall. There we go. Now you have entered the Great Hollow. There are a lot of things on these trees over here. I am by no means of an expert on this area. I do not know how to get every freaking item, or crystal lizard, or whatever, in the Great Hollow here. So, luckily though, there is a bonfire before you start this, so we're going to light the bonfire rest there, and then we'll go after um, some of the treasure here. Really, the only thing of use is, if you can see it down there, is... Oh, did I make it? I did. Right here, Chlorinth Chlorinth the Ring. Basically, it does the same thing as Mask of the Child or the Grass Crush Shield that boosts your stamina recovery rate. So Now it's just a matter of really, if you want to explore this area and get down, um, or explore this area and get, you know, all these chunks and stuff like that, or if you just want to make it as quick as possible to the bottom of this tree, um, to get to Ash Lake. Watch out, there are these silly frogs again. Oh my gosh. This is where a long weapon would come in handy. Oh, stop barfing on me, dude. Alright. Make sure you have good curse resistant stuff here. 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's up here. We'll go check, though. Um, a whole lot of nothing. Is there a ladder here? The ladder might be... There are ladders in this area, by the way. Um, we're going to see if we can get to that whatever it is over here. Where is it at? It was right down... Ah! Okay, I don't exactly know where it is there. Let's just jump down here. And there we go, it's up this one. Let's see what we got. What did we find ourselves? A red titanite chunk. Yippee. Alright, we're going to come down here. We are going to attempt to get through this thing. There we go. Jump down here. There's a crystal lizard. I'm not going to be in time to get it, so I'm not really that concerned anyways. Um, I'm going to actually roll down here to where it was. And continue from there. And here's one of those ladders. There should be another ladder right there, yes. Another ladder. Right here. Now we get to the first kind of subfloor here, I guess you could call it. And there are frogs on this as well. And is there another one over here? Yeah, there he is. Now you can take the ladder down, or there's actually a place here I think you can drop down and get an item. Which is not that one. Is it this one? Yeah, you can drop down and get yourself a blue titanite chunk. And a bunch of curse frogs sitting here trying to curse you from afar. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Okay, get out of there. We're not going to be cursed today. Where are you? There you go. Is there another one? He's stuck. And out of luck. Because he only had a buck. And it cost two. I have no idea. Alright, this is the way down. Find the soul and weave your way down this log and you'll come across our old mushroom friends here eventually. Eventually. Any second now. Any second now. There was a... Is there, where is that thing? I'm going to jump down here. Where was that soul? Was it... Or that... Um, where was it? Did I miss it? Oh, it's over there. Um, those guys, who cares? Is it up? I bet you it's up, isn't it? Again, who cares? I'm not going to worry about that. These guys won't really attack you. I'm going to heal up real quick just because there is someone down here that will attack you. That being these giant guys. Just run by them. I don't think there's anything of importance down there. If there is, let me know. I've never found anything. Of course, I haven't really tried to find anything either. Alright, and through the... Whoa, 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 girl. Morgan, get your act together. Here's Ash Lake. And there's not a whole heck of a lot to do here at Ash Lake, honestly, but if you want dragon scales, this is the place to get some free dragon scales. Dragon scales are required to upgrade like dragon type weapons. Also the Moonlight Greatsword. If you want to make the Moonlight Greatsword plus five, I would highly recommend coming down here. Alright, well, there is a Hydra down here. So we are going to... I don't think we have to go in the water, actually, for this Hydra. So, we're going to switch out to our plus five Silver Knight shield. And go take on this Hydra. Since there's a bonfire right there, we won't have to climb all the way back down. And like I said, we can warp, so that makes things so much easier. 
Alright, the Hydra is completely facing the wrong direction here. But this Hydra, you will not need the, um... Rusted Iron Ring for... Hello? Sir, I'm over here. Where's my wave? Oh, yeah, there it is. Hello? Sir? Hydra. You're a little lethargic today, buddy. Again, this Hydra is a little more difficult than the last one. Oh, really? Is it going to do the stupid spewing of crap? Crap also being water. Come on, guys. Again. How necessary is that? Really? Can you just do your thing? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, just go up close to them if they want to do that. Hello, sir. Are you seriously going to back up? Oh, my gosh. Come get me. Please come get me. Hello. Alright, this has to be good. Alright. Hopefully one shot takes a head off. It does not. Did I even hit it twice there? I don't know. Again, just be sure you don't go off the edge there. Come here. Alright. It's going to take two at least her head this time. Give your shield out and block. Must have been the head I hit before. Here it comes again. What did I miss? I don't want to miss on there. Come on. That's yeah, unnecessary. Oh my goodness, hello, can I hit you from there? I wonder if I can hit him right from there. Where are you? Where's your head? Right back here. I missed. No, I hit him. I should be able to take this one down without having to uh, kill all the heads. Because there's four more, it looks like. Come on! You're right above me. That works work better if I actually hit something. Oh my gosh. Three strikes, you're out, girl. Goodness. Come on. Alright. This has got to be a hit. And should be one or two more hits and the whole thing should die here. That's Your fate has been sealed. Whee! There it goes. There it goes, the Hydra. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to kill all the heads if you take down hit points uh, for the heads. That Hydra gives you two Dragon Scales. There's also... I don't know if there's one or two over here. We're going to find out, though. There is one Dragon Scale over there. Now we get to run all the way to the other side. Because there, is, there are a couple things on the other side down here of note. If you so choose to um, want to explore this area and get those. In here you will find yet... Really, can you not roll... Thank you. Another dragon scale. I would recommend running up this. You don't have to kill the Hydra, by the way. You can run past him and... He, he, he's not that difficult to uh, run past. There's another clammy clam up here. If you want to... I don't know if they, they should drop... Uh, what do you call it? Um, twinkling. I'm going to see just... Uh, where's the gold? Twinkling. They do drop twinkling. There's his buddy over here. So I'm going to see if I can get me a couple twinkling drops real quickly because I want to upgrade the Black Knight Great Axe so we can use that. So we've used the Dex weapon in the washing pole. Well, washing pole is a quality weapon, but it's more of a dexterity based weapon. It's a katana. <coughs> and we've been using this Black Knight sword, but since we uh, 
one to the kiln and we farmed one of each. I'll probably use either the Black Knight Halberd or the Black Knight Great Axe. I think we, we'll probably go with the Great Axe since that's what I like probably the best of the Black Knight weapons and it's what I just gained with the very first time. So holds a special place with me. Used to be good in PvP, the Black Knight Great Axe. Not so much anymore because people learned how to parry it and it is extremely easy to parry. Alright, so enough of that. Alright, where do we want to go from here? You can go down there. Um, uh, there's really nothing. You're actually going to come out down, from down there as soon as you go up here. We are going to get rid of... You know what? We're just going to put that because we're going to need twinkling and stuff. So we're just going to put the silver ring on here. You, sir, are dead. Is there another one in here? I don't quite remember. Yeah, you can see there's an item up there. Well, there's only one way you can get that item. And that is by... See that log right down there? Coming over here. And... Is there a... Uh, there is seriously this guy. Man. He was spewing white crap at me. Alright. So you want to come down here and walk ever so slightly to the edge because then you come to this alternative path which routes you up on top and you get a miracle, a great magic barrier. And you also get a DB down here want to curse you. Holy crap. And one of those giant mushroom men. So we're just going to avoid that situation for the time being and continue on to the last area of importance down here. Again, watch yourself in here because you can fall off the edge if you wander too far off the, I guess this would be sand. Hello, sir. No need to feel crabby. It's a clam, oyster. Purging stone, I really would have preferred the Twinkling Titanite, but whatever. Alrighty, Aphrodite. You know, there used to be a way that you could cheese the Hydra. If you ran past him and you ran over here, he would, like, follow you and then jump, but he would jump into the... I don't know how it happened, but he would jump and he would fall down and die. Um, I don't know if that's a part of the game or if they fixed that in one of the patches or not, but it used to be old PS3 days when I played this, and that was... <coughs> That was one way you could uh, kill the Hydros, the cheese, by running down here, having him follow you, then turning back, and he would kill himself. Now this area here, you can see you really want to stay on the sandy part. And look what happens when you come down here. It is not a butterfly in a cocoon or whatever. It is a dragon. With a bonfire in front of him. Why is that? Well, because this dragon is the everlasting dragon and you can enter the covenant. So we already abandoned our Dark Moon Covenant by killing the leader of it, so might as well join this covenant. And you get the dragon headstone and the dragon eye. If you give him enough um, dragon scales, you can get the torso too and become a full dragon so also for free come on over here here's his tail and there you are chopping off his tail and you get the dragon greatsword so all right that was the great hollow in the ash lake i thank you all for watching and between now and next time i will grab I don't know if it's 10. Twinkling Twite Knight. Twinkling Twinkling Twite Knight. <laughs> twinkling Titanite. Thank you. Um, and level up the Black Knight Great Axe. And we will go to the. Um, I think the only part left is the DLC area. The 
Artorias of the Abyss content. So, alright, I will uh, meet you back at Firelink next time, and we'll go from there. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.